Queen Family, the top plutocrat in the capital, passed away on January 15, 2024, at the age of 86. The new head of the Queen Family, Wei Yan Queen, has fully taken over the family business. Rumor has it that Wei Yan is married. Whether his wife will appear in public remains unknown. The old woman is finally dead. No one can stop me from being with Wei Yan anymore. Come over here, little fool. Wen, have some soup. Good for you. Zoe Queen, take this. What's this? I can't understand what's written above. Come on. Sign your name here. Remember, I taught you that. Sure, my name is Nia Queen. Wayne, I said it. Zoe Queen. Have you prepared everything I told you to do? It's all set. The babysitter, doctor, nurse, and maid are all on call at the hotel. Mister Queen, your twin babies are due in a month. Do you really want to send them away? I'll ensure she and the kids never want for anything. This is what I promised Grandma, and that's it. Master, my grandson's been in a coma for three months after a car crash. The doctor said all we could do was wait. Do you think marry him off could wake him up sooner? I've already read his fortune. The girl you picked might not be a looker and lack smarts, but she's a real luck magnet. She's the ideal match for Mr. Wei and Queen. You should give it a try. Wei, I decided on this match for you. Come here. The master was right. She's our lucky charm. She's your perfect match. You just got married, and then you woke up. You have to treat her well in the future. Otherwise, I won't forgive you. <laughs> When? Where are we going? You love the snow, don't you?、Mm. I'll have someone take you to the hot springs hotel. Where you can enjoy the snow view while bathing in the hot spring. <laughs> okay. Well, can you go with me? I'll see you there when I get things down. Just wait for me there.、Mm. Since Madam Queen passed away, Wayne doesn't want you now. No one will ever stop Wayne and me from being together again. No way. Wayne said he would come to see me. You are just a fool picked by the Queen family to kill Wayne. You don't deserve to be with him. A child that will tarnish Wayne's bloodline doesn't deserve to be born. After today, this fool will no longer exist in this world. Mister, how long till we get there? I feel so dizzy. I'll drive slower. You can feel better. Miss Chen, happy birthday! Miss Chen, may you always stay forever young. What did you give me to drink, sister? You are not feeling well. I will get you to your room.
He went soon. That poison will drastically change your appearance. Even by the time you die, no one in the Shen family will recognize you, and I will be the future head of the Shen family. What did you give me to drink? No one in the Shen family will recognize Say you. Say your name here. You are just a fool picked by the Queen family to kill Wen. <sighs> I remember it all. I'm the eldest daughter of the powerful Xin family in Yorkshire. I'm Yvonne Xin. I was poisoned three years ago, but I was lucky not to die. Just suffered disfigurement and memory loss. <sighs> Wen Queen. <sighs> Grandma just passed away. I can forget about the fact that you tried to trick me into a divorce, but you even kicked me out of the house when I was about to deliver. Wait, Queen, you're so cruel. Hello, Dad. Help me. Help me. It hurts so much. Am I going to labor? Sir, she's here. Yvonne, my daughter, it's Daddy. Wake up. It's Daddy. Come on, sir, to the hospital. Sir, one baby is dead. Kid, what have you been through these three years, huh? How did you suddenly end up with babies? No, we have to go to the hospital. Baby's dad, just leave him here. It's not that I'm cruel. I just don't want you to feel sad. Come on, let's go to the hospital. Mr. Quinn, one baby is not breathing. Mrs. Quinn and the other baby are gone. Didn't I ask you to take her to the hotel yourself? Why did she set off alone? It was all my fault. Go, searching all over the capital, leaving no stone unturned to find her and shell to bring them back. Miss Chen, you're saying you're engaged to Sun Quin. He's going to the New York Stone Bar to find him to cancel the engagement. Got it. Now, welcome Zain. Come on. Hey, let's all congratulate Zayn for marrying Miss Yvonne. Zayn, you're so bold. I heard that Miss Yvonne had disappeared for three years. When she was brought back, she had a son whose father was Arno. It was so well known in Yorkstown. What a disgrace! That's why I said Zayn was awesome. Facing a woman like that, not only did he not back down, but he also insisted on marrying her. Well, the engagement was made by the elders of both families. Although I'm going to marry Yvonne Shin, I'll never touch her. Look at all the chicks that I have out there. Any one of them is way much hotter right. than her. Even being with her, I feel dirty. Exactly. Look. If you ask me when Miss Yvonne went missing, she might have stayed alive. But her virtue, that's a different story. But this Miss Yvonne really can't keep a secret. She never revealed the baby's real dad. Hmm. I don't even think she knows who the real father is. There may have been several men. Hey, hey, hey. Look. When I marry Yvonne Sheen, I'll let you guys have some fun with her, okay? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh. <gasps> uh. <gasps> who did that? It's me. You don't hear the son of the Queen family? What's he doing here in Yorkstone? Cousin, why did you hit me? How dare you speak ill of my mommy? You ask for it. Who is your this mommy? This kid is usually weak and can't stop coughing. But why does he look so <laughs> strong? Stop, today? please, stop. Who are you? Get out. I'm your dad. 
This man looks like me. Maybe no way. Mommy said she scarred Daddy's ashes. Hmm. My dad has been gone for many years now. Do you want to get punished by copying the Heart Sutra twenty times again? Who's this demo king anyway? Why punish me on our first meeting, Siko? No, please. Uh, Uncle Wayne, help me, Uncle Wayne. He would hit me really hard. Who told you to turn your mouth? We were just talking about Miss Yvonne. Why are you so angry? Hey. Let me go. Put me down. You will soon be married to Yvonne Shen. You should watch your behavior now. Let me go. Put me down. Ethan Sheen, snuck out to face off with Zen Queen. You'll see us set you straight. Kid, you're so well dressed. Your family must be rich. Give me some money, okay? I have no money now. Or you kidnap me and I call my daddy for money. These people stink. I can't breathe. What should I do? Call your daddy. Ask your mommy to send us money by herself. I don't have mommy. Ethan. Get behind, mummy. Be careful not to get their blood on you. So this is your mummy. How dare you hit me! Look! <gasps> Come on, Ethan. You got a lot of nerve, huh? How dare you sneak out by yourself? Uh huh. My name is Prima Queen. Did she mistake me for her son? Let's go home. Beautiful and the queen jointy, and she's carrying me. Ethan Sheen, let's go home and settle this. And your auntie is taking me home, but I'm not her son. Should I tell her that? Your grandpa wants to talk to you. My baby grandson, you are not hurt, are you? This and your auntie's son and I. How much do we really look like? Why did none of them realize they had mistaken me for another? I I'm good. So that same queen, did you hit him hard? Same queen. My cousin. Next time you want to hit someone, just tell me. I'll have him tied up so you can beat him up. Dad, don't spoil him this way. Also, you'd better explain to me what's going on with this engagement between us and the Queen family. Uh, what did you say? If you want to get a matrilocal son in love, it's fine. Why does it has to be someone from the Queen family? Zen Queen, that trash. No way. I don't agree. I will cancel this. <laughs> well, about that. Uh, hello? Hey. Why is the signal so poor, Dad? Dad? <laughs> Ethan, today you. Why do you look so pale? I. You must have caught a cold. Mommy will prepare you some ginger tea. You take a bath, then go to bed. Miss Chen, Zian Quan is now at the hotel room one three zero four. Want to come to cancel the engagement? I'll be right there. Ethan, you go to bed first. Mommy's going to teach the bad guy a lesson. Okay, mommy. Good boy. Come on, take the medicine. I'm not sick. I don't want medicine. Please, stop it. Just take the medicine so you can get well. Come on. I'm not sick. Okay. Oh my God, how could you spill medicine like that? It's Mr. Queen's blood. Prepare another bow. But Mr. Queen, you don't need the medicinal primer. Young master, when you were born, 
We all thought he had frozen to death. Mr. Queen wouldn't give up. He held you, first beating against his chest for a day and a night before he showed any sign of recovery. All this medicine to take every day requires the blood from Mr. Queen's heart. He has to take Scorcha to heat his blood as a medicinal primer. Mr. Queen's using his own life to extend yours. But Mr. Queen, the doctor said that you can only take one pill of Scorcha a day, and you have now taken two. There are some words I know I shouldn't say. Your wife is gone. And even if you feel guilty and sad, you still have to take care of yourself. Prina still needs your care. Enough! She vanished without a trace, alive or dead owned. How come she's gone? Who's he? How can he even mistake his own son? I'll stay in Zane's room for a while. I didn't do it on purpose. Take the medicine and go write the Heart Sutra 20 times in your room. No! Forcing me to take medicine and to write Sutra as punishment. This demo is torturing me all the time. I have to run away. Should be this one. Zane Queen, you're such a coward. You think I can find you if you hide there? Little fool. Don't move. Be here. Did you recognize me? Let go of me! <laughs> Turn around. I'll lose interest when I look at your face. It hurts! Stop talking. If you keep talking, we can't get the baby plan rolling. Uh, Wing Queen, you jerk! Just a touch of Snow Ludus made me lose control. She doesn't have a scar. How could she be little fool? I must be out of my mind. Mr. Quinn, here are the things you sent me to buy. Ladies' clothing and morning after pills. The clothes are hanging on a doorknob. Take the morning after pill. I've put forty thousand dollars in this car. Not enough? What do you take me for? Aren't you the escort Zane Queen called in? Wing Queen, you sure didn't recognize me. Mister, you've got it wrong. I'm not a call girl. I'm here to enjoy your service. What did you say? You are kind of good looking, but you're kind of sucking bad. Sorry, thumbs down for me. You know, I was going to pay you $70. But you were short on finest, with pity strength. So, you can only... get half. When you queen. Jerk! What is Angel Auntie doing here in the hotel? Luckily, she didn't see me, or I would have been taken back again. Prina, why are you out here? Weren't you just inside? Look, Prina, 
I've got 20 copies of the written sutra ready for you. In the left drawer of your desk. I've just come back. Why am I being punished by daddy? He already knew that I stank out. But luckily, Zoe Queen got all prepared. Thank you, Uncle Queen. Don't get too emotional. Go back and rest now. Who drew this? Where's Ding Queen? Mr. Zhang went out for a drink. <sighs> He's been beaten up like that and still in the mood. Mr. Zhang said he had head injury that affected his appearance. It's not appropriate to meet with Miss Shane. Meet with Miss Shane? Yes, just now the hotel receptionist said that Miss Yvonne Shane had taken Mr. Zhang's room card and came up to see him. Could that woman have been Yvonne Shen, the one marrying Zhang Queen? Ethan, when did you get out? Where's my mommy? She's not back yet. <sighs> Luckily, I escaped from Demo King. Ethan, did I wake you up? No, I've been waiting for you, mommy. Hmm. Who are you? Get out! I'm your dad. Young master, when you were born, we all thought you had frozen to death. Mr. Queen wouldn't give up. He held you, first beating against his chest for a day and a night before he showed any sign of recovery. Mommy, you told me before that my daddy died a long time ago, and you scattered his ashes, is that true? The man who said he was my daddy today looks too much like me. It's true. Your daddy's ashes were scattered by me. Mommy, don't they say that the recognition exists? Dad died so many years ago, could he have recognition into someone else? Ethan, actually there's something mommy hasn't told you. Your daddy was reincarnated as a whole man, that silly yellow dog in our backyard. Go write the Heart Sutra 20 times in the room. Whole man in the backyard is much cuter. It's better if it's my daddy. Come on, go to sleep. You don't look good today. Go to sleep now. Ethan and Wen Queen look too much alike. Mustn't let them see each other. Five years ago, Wen Queen kicked me out for Wenyi Xiao. After a car accident, only Ethan survived. If he knew that Ethan was his son, he might do something bad to us again for the sake of Wen Xiao. It's 7.20 already. Prina is getting out of this place. Prina's had a regular routine since he was a baby. He should have been tired from writing the suture last night. I'll go check. I feel awful. Help. Mr. Queen, Prina's chill element has flared up again. What should we do? It's been three years since Prina had an attack of cold syndrome. Mr. Queen, you've already made an exception and took two pills of Scorchy yesterday. If you keep taking it like this, your veins will burst. Save it, Prina, first. Mr. Quinn, if something happens to you, what's Prina going to do? Is Justin Hunt back? Not yet. Professor Hunt's seminar will last for two months. All right, Professor Hunt said the Timu Hot Spring of the Shin family could help relieve Prina's condition. Prepared. Timu Mountain. On it. Prina, I won't let anything happen to you. Mr. Queen, the Timu Mountain is a private property of the Xin family, and the hot springs are used by the Xin family to produce medicines. Only a Xin is allowed to use the hot springs. The engagement between the Xin and the Xin family just for the hot springs and Timu Mountain, I didn't expect this before the engagement was finalized. Mr. Quinn, the Xin family's bodyguards are here. Should we talk to the Xin family first? Here is a private property. No entry for everyone. No time. Breaking. Go. Drink a lot of water and bloom a lot of flowers. Eat these flowers and we'll well be cured. You crushed my flowers! 
The snow lotus is not common. Grandma transplanted to simplify making my medicine. Why do they have it here? Miss Chen, you won't believe it. Mr. Queen broke into a villa with his men and injured many of the bodyguards. Wen Queen, he's gone too far. Our family's engagement isn't final yet, and he dares come to my place to make a scene. Ethan, finish your meal. Mommy has to go out. Mommy, are you going to out to fight monsters? Mommy is going to scatter the bad guys' ashes, so he can't be reclaimed as human being. Come on, let's go get him. Come on, let's go. Mommy, you are so cool. I will be waiting for you. Scattering is so fun. I have to see it. The woman last night was really emotion. But why did she plant Little Fu's favorite snow lotus? Queen Queen, who are you? Wen Queen, are you a gangster? You broke in my property, injured my bodyguard, and trampled on my flowers. Have you no shame? Miss Shen, no offense, but it was urgent. I need your hot springs at Timo to cure my son's cold syndrome. Your son? You have a son? This must be the child of him and Wen Shen. About my son, I will say nothing, Miss Shen. Name your price. How much for letting me use your hot springs to treat my son? You, mommy, I'll help you. Scattered his ashes. Mommy, I'll help you. Scattered his ashes. Don't play around. Take him inside. Come on, let's go. Can't believe he loves the child of him and Wen Xiang so much, and carry the kid all the time. And my son doesn't know who his daddy is. Wen Kui, you jerk! We're done for good. My son is in a critical condition. No more delays. For the use of the hot springs and the medical treatment, just name your price. Forget it. Just get the kid treated first. As for the price, let's talk about it somewhere else. Mr. Quinn, I'll take care of your kid. Wen Quinn, can't believe that he's so worried about the Wen Xiang's child. What are you looking at? Shall we go? It was just a one-night thing to me. First a touch of snow lotus, and now even her back reminds me of little fool. Am I insane? Mr. Queen, the hot springs at Mount Tenmu have always been available only to the Sheens. I won't hold today's events against you, but please pack your things and get out of here as soon as possible. Miss Jin, then we'll join the Xin family in a while, so that'll make us your family too. Just allow my son to be traded here for a few days. Oh, so that's your real plan for her. getting Zen Queen to marry into my family. Her eyes look really like little fools. After last night's event, I didn't think you still let Zen Queen marry me. Wen Queen, are you out of your freaking mind? Miss Shen, you don't really want to marry me, do you? Wen Queen. Don't flatter yourself. A man as bad as you are in bed has no chance to join my family. Don't worry, I will marry. It is impossible for me to become a matrilocal son-in-law. I don't want to marry anyone from the Queen family. So Wen Queen, please take Zen Queen and get out. Miss Jin, my son really needs the spring here to get healed. Name your price. I will say I yes to anything. I am the Yorkstone princess. Money is the last thing my family needs. So no matter how much money you give me. I won't lend you the hot springs. Miss Jane, I just saw your son. What do you want? If my son doesn't get the treatment he needs, and something happens, Miss Jane, do you think you can afford the Queen family's revenge? When Queen. Are you trying to threaten me with my son? 
Wen Queen. Five years ago, after Grandma died, because of Wen Yishan, you tricked me into a divorce and kicked me out of the house, leaving me to give birth alone in the freezing cold. And now, you're threatening me with my child for the sake of your child. I am a man without a conscience. If anything happens to my son, I ensure your family never knows peace again. Now that we've come to this point, I'll name your prize. So your son can recuperate here. I took care of you for three years, and you treated me like a maid. Then I'll give you a chance to taste what it's like to be a servant. I'm listening, Miss Shane. Wen Queen, I could use a caregiver who is capable of handling everything. You want me to provide comprehensive support? Relax. You just work for me, not selling yourself. Why do you look like I'm about to take advantage of you? Okay. Deal. In that case, I'll need to set some rules. Go ahead. Miss Shen, I hope you can completely forget about last night and never cross the line with me. <sighs> Wen Queen, seems like you're overthinking it. Look at yourself. You're no better than a chocolate teapot. There's no woman who can get enough of you. Well, in that case, I also have some rules. Go ahead. First, once you're here at Timu Mountain Villa, except for physical contact, you'll obey me unconditionally. Second, cancel the marriage agreement between our families. And third, since you're here primarily to take care of me, so please, stay away from my son. Okay, I accept. One more thing. What? The snow lotus is not common. Why do we have it at the villa? The Xin family is rich and powerful. I can grow whatever flowers I want. Just mind your own business. You have five minutes to clean up and go cook for me. I cook for you. Aren't you afraid I'll poison you? This is my place. Wing Queen, you can try to poison me. And see if you can get out of your stone. Alright. Wait here. Daddy. Prina, don't be afraid. Stay here and get better. Wait, I'm impressed. Missy was so difficult to deal with, yet you handle it well. <sighs> Where's the kitchen? Wait, I'll go prepare lunch. No need. I'm going to cook for Miss Yvonne. Huh? I didn't expect that one queen, the big shot in the business world, could even cook. Stop talking nonsense. Is this how you speak to your boss? If it happens again, take your son and get the hell out of here. I'm sorry, Miss Chen. How long are you planning to stay here? When spring comes, I will take my son back to the capital. When spring comes? So you're staying here for four months? Sign the contract. What do you mean, Ivan Shen? Anyone who's ever done business knows that you, Wen Queen, are a cunning, greedy, ruthless businessman. I'm just afraid that you'll back out. Don't you like shrimp? I'm just used to saving the best for the last. Mia, don't you like shrimp? I do, but... I want to save the best for last. Save the best for Wayan. Same habit as little fool. Hi, Dad. Yvonne, to show his determination to marry into the Xin family, Zhang Queen went to the mansion to see your grandpa. I'll go back later and cancel the engagement. Yvonne. Actually, a marriage between the Queen and Xin families would be good for both of us. Dad, the marriage hasn't been finalized yet. Wen Queen had already broken into the villa with his men and injured the bodyguards. The Queen family sending Zhang Queen here to marry to our family is just to embolden them to act recklessly in York State. Right, Wayne Queen has gone too far. Yvonne, did you kick them all out? Wen Queen and I signed an agreement to make a peace. Yvonne, you did great. I can't believe you handled Wayne Queen well. I love you. You are my pride. Okay, I'm hanging up now. Miss Chen, if you don't have anything else for me, I'll excuse myself. Zen knows you have broken into this place. Avoiding Xin trouble quickly showed loyalty. Later you'll come with me to the mansion, cancel the engagement, and take him with you.
one queen. Your seed is over there. Huh? The chauffeur of the Xin family looks like Wei and Queen. Wayne Queen is such a powerful man in the capital. How could he be our chauffeur? Can you see it's raining outside? Hold the umbrella for me. See that puddle? You don't want me to carry you over it, do you? Wen Queen, I'm a lady. As my bodyguard and shuffle. You can't be always thinking about physical contact with me. Understand? Pull forward a little. Grandpa, five years ago, Vivo misunderstood me thinking that I poisoned her. Now she's coming back. Should I avoid her? Why are you avoiding her? Yvon is a liner one. If she dares to be mean to you, I will... What will you do, Grandpa? Kick me out of the house? Or make me kneel in front of the ancestral tablets? Yvonne, how could you talk to Grandpa like that? Grandpa, it's all my fault. I'm just afraid that Yvonne won't forgive me. I... Yvonne, we're family. How can we hold grudges against each other? Besides, Anna has been exiled abroad by you for five years. And the Shane family has cut off all her financial resources. The punishment she has endured is enough. Now, Anna's mother is in poor health. I'll make the decision today. Okay, since Anna has returned, let's allow her to stay in Yorkstone. Yvan Shun, that poison will drastically change your appearance. Even by the time you die, no one in the Shen family will recognize you. And I will be the future head of the Shen family. Anna Shin, you're back, so what? Don't think that the past can be written off. Grandpa, when did Anna Shin come back? How come I didn't know that? You didn't keep this from me on purpose, right? <clears throat> You're back, Evil. Well, Zen is here too. You can get to know each other. Come on, have a seat there. Don't just stand there. So, you are Miss Evil? Uncle Wade, why are you here? Ivan, how come you are here with Wing Queen? I think they just happen to run into each other, right? Well... All right, I will tell Sweet Tea instead of one to Yvonne and Mr. Zane on their marriage. All this time, Grandpa and Uncle have been working so hard on this marriage, and I didn't do anything to help. Who says you can't help? Look, there are two members from the Queens here. Just choose one and get married. Uh, no, 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 no. Miss Yvonne, I heard from my dad they were going to cancel the marriage agreement. So I came here especially to express my determination to be a match local son in law. You're the only one who want to marry. Nonsense. Since when you can make your own decisions about your marriage? Uncle Wei, you can't kick down the letter. You were the one who got my dad to tell me that marrying to the Xi family would be good for me, weren't you? The Queens really went through a lot of trouble for our hot springs. Miss Yvonne, that was all Uncle Wen's idea. I had nothing to do with it. Oh. I'm the head of the Queen family. I don't need these dirty tricks. It was Zen who acted rushly today. I apologize to everyone. Huh? There is no need for formalities. We'll be a family soon. One Queen. First you broke into my villa, with your men. And then Zane made such a scene here. Is this the usual way of queens? So what do you want, Miss Shin? Punch her! Until Wayne is not angry! Guard! Take Zane Queen out! Beat him until I'm satisfied. Evil, do you have any respect for Grandpa? Death. What's wrong with you today? Why are you helping an outsider? Uh, Uncle Wayne! Help! Uncle Wayne! Wait. Wen Queen, your son or your nephew? You can only choose one. Yvonne, I heard that Wen Queen is staying at the Timo Mountain Villa. 
Have you forgotten the rules of the Shin family? What? You want to talk about the rules? My son is ill. Miss Shin and I have reached an agreement to allow my son to use the hot spring to recapture. Please don't punish Miss Shin. Master, help me! Even if she's back now, she wants to destroy me. Anna, the only one to blame is yourself for not learning enough to eliminate your opponent. Master, if you can help me get through this, I will offer half of the family fortune to you when I take over as head of Shin family. A big shot from the capital will be visiting York Star soon. Rumor has it that he lost his wife and now has a son. If you can hook up with him, <laughs> you will have absolute control and never have to mind Yvonne Shin. Could it be that Wing Queen, the big shot that Master mentioned? Whoever gets treated at Timo Hot Springs suffers skin or cold disease. May I ask what kind of disease your son is? Cold syndrome. I studied with the master of TCM, Justin Hunt. If you trust me, I can do some consolations. Save it, Anna Shin. You almost poisoned me to death when you are treating me. Now you're causing trouble here. Be careful not to involve the entire family. Yvonne, how can you say that about me? What happened last time was really a misunderstanding. Besides, I've been studying abroad for five years and already got master's degree in medicine. I won't. Angelic bitch. What did you say? I said you're an angelic bitch. With the queen's wealth and power. What kind of good doctor they could not find in you? Funny. Professor Justin Hunt has consulted my son. It was his suggestion to relieve the illness with a Timo hot spring. Even the master can't do anything about it. What a poor thing. My son never needed this kind of cheap sympathy. Uh, I... Could this woman be trying to seduce me? <clears throat> One queen, is there anything you haven't said? What? I didn't forget what I promised you, but I have my conditions. Five years ago, Baxter Chen, a skilled TCM professional, came to the Xin family. If he can be found to treat my son. Wen Queen, you went back on your word. Wen Queen, good for you. Use the annulment to force me to reveal Chen Bosch's track. A foxy businessman, indeed. Wen Queen, Baxter Chen has no real talent. Even my teacher couldn't do anything. How could Shut he- Shut up! Brother Wen, Yvonne is so harsh. Miss Anna, I don't know you very well, so please don't call me like that. And what goes on between Miss Shane and you is your family business, not mine. Wayne Queen, you might have believed the rumors. The Shane family has nothing to do with this Mr. Chen. In that case, I'll take my leave. Any information about Baxter Chen, please contact me. Grandpa, Dad, I'm leaving too. Ethan is waiting for me uh, at home. Wait, wait a sec. Bring my baby grandson over. And let's have dinner. Forget it, Dad. Maybe next time. Wen Queen, you didn't keep your word. Why didn't you break up the engagement? Miss Chen, didn't you get it? Trade me Baxter Chen's clue for that. I can't let him know that Baxter Chen came here to cure my poison. Otherwise, he'd know that I'm a little fool. I don't know who Baxter Chen is. Very good. My stupid nephew likes you very much. Miss Chen, I wish you two to become a real couple soon. Okay, if that's the case, I'll call Zen Queen right now, telling him that we have slept together. We only buy the wall. Right, and on the sofa. Wing Queen! <laughs> Miss Chen, let me remind you, Baxter Chen break the rule of the Sentinel sect to treat the rich and powerful. A lot of people know about this. So what? If I agree to any of Elder Shen's or Anna Shen's demands, would they open up to me? No businessman plays clean. It's all about calculating. I don't know, period. Do whatever you like. Where are we going now? Convenience store. I'm in a bad mood. Buy me some candy. I... Crap. Forget to ask her what flavor she wants. I would like to experience the pleasure of being rich. <sighs> Here you are. Whoa, you bought so many. You didn't empty the convenience store, did you? You didn't tell me what flavor you want. I had to buy them all to save myself a trip. 
Stupid rich guy, huh? <laughs> Wen Queen. I'm not gonna pay you for this box of condoms. What? I thought this was a great flavored candy. <laughs> mm. Besides, it says size M on the box. Doesn't fit you. Too big. Bullshit. <laughs> Bro, you're so pathetic. Don't tell me you never bought this and don't know your size. Right, you are more experienced. Okay, don't be mad. Have a candy. Grape flavored. Wei Yan, don't be mad. Have a candy. My little fool, where in the world have you been? Do all women like candy? Who else likes candy? There was a little fool in my house. She liked candy. She always hid her candy in the inside pocket and melted when she gave it to me. Looks disgusting. Yet, she can still eat it. Hey, Nia, you can only have one piece of candy at a time. You will get cavities if you eat too much. Hmm. Hmm. Wayne, have some candy. You won't find a medicine bitter then. Little fool would be upset if she heard you say that. Little fool is gone. If she's not happy with me, well... She can come back in my dreams. Wen Kui, you bastard! What's the point of hunting your dreams? From now on, I'm going to torture you to death! Let's go. Where are we going now? First back to the office, then go shopping. I'll send you the details later. Grocery? Yeah, go back to the villa after shopping. Clean the villa properly. If I find out you didn't clean it properly or did it yourself, I'll make you kneel down to scrub the floor. And then at 7 p.m., my son and I will have dinner. You go to the central kitchen and prepare the meal. Miss Xiao will bring meals to my villa. This woman is getting better and better at commanding me. Drive, wait, wait. If We've checked it out. Today, Miss Shen has been with Wei and Queen. And they left this. You just grabbed flavored candy? Uh... It's baby killer. That is to kill babies. So he really a bad guy. He even kills kids. <gasps> it's not for killing me, is it? Uh, no, that's for sure. So he's got some humanity left. <laughs> Right. Look. This is Wayne Queen. He's Demo King. He's also a creepy killer of children. No wonder he forced me to take the medicine that night. He wanted to kill me, and I thought he was my daddy. I was curious. What's the meaning of this end? Uh, this should be the type that Wayne Queen usually uses. You keep a close eye on this Demo King. If you see him using the baby killer again, let me know. We can't let any more kids get hurt. Well, how is it possible to get into Wayne's bedroom? Wait, we've checked it out. The red car that followed you belongs to Mr. Zane. As for the other one, it's the Boltons. Zane was trying to figure out my relationship with Yvonne, but why did the Boltons care about the Shin? Well, I only heard the Shins and Boltons were longtime friends. Five years ago, the young Bolton wanted to marry Miss Shin. But Miss Shin was pregnant out of wedlock, so her marriage to the Boltons was over. Yvonne Shin has quite a lot of experience. Okay, you go take care of Prina. Yes, sir. Really slutty, one queen. It's your turn now.
I will make a couple of videos to show Miss Shen that you're serious about your work. Wait. Something wrong? Michelle called and says she's worried because she hasn't seen you lately. What? Wayne, you've been away for days. Bu misses you too much. Can you talk to him? <sighs> I'm busy. I'll call him when I have time. I've been trying to call you lately, and I can't get through. Have you blocked me? I'll check my private phone tonight. If you can't reach me, you can go straight to Zilla Queen. Really? I'm relieved that you didn't block me. Then come back soon. Boo keeps saying he wants you to take him skin. Hmm. Wayne, Boo can't grow up without his dad being around. Please, Mr. Queen. Miss Shen will be back soon. Hurry up and finish what you haven't done. Okay now. I have to go. When Prina's condition stabilizes a bit, I'll go back to take him ski. What are you looking at? Go! Chores? Wayne is doing chores? It must be a business standing in. Ethan! Mommy! We'll be staying at the villa this winter. Is the demo king the one who kills kids here too? What do you say? Yeah, <sighs> mommy fights monsters every day. It's been hard. I will tell her about it when I defeat demo king. Nothing. Then you go take a bath. I will see if dinner's ready. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Did you block Ant again? I don't like her. She's your cousin's mommy. Is she gonna be my mommy? No. You only have one mommy, and I'm not looking for a new one for you. But I want a mommy too. Huh? You want a mommy? She's a fairy. She can't be our family. Underestimate me. As long as I want to, a fairy is even possible. All right, take your medicine and go to the hot springs for half an hour. Ethan Sheen, come on right now. You can't go to bed until you finish your homework today. It's Anja Auntie. Why is she here? Mommy! Ethan, you've been a bad boy. I'm going to spank you. Mommy, I'm a good boy today. So cute. Come on, let's go inside. Go. Ethan, I'm gonna prepare the fruit now. When I come back, I have to see that you are doing your homework, okay? Mm, okay, mommy. This bunny belongs to the son of Angel Auntie. Why is it the same as the one my mommy gave me? Prina. It's the only thing left of your mommy, and she made it herself. I will protect it. From today, you are my little brother. This bunny's dirty and worn out. Throw it away. Mommy gave it to me. No, I can't. <sighs> so dirty. It's got germs in it. Boo will get infected. Throw it away. Give it back to me! You want this? Then I will throw it away. Go pick it up from the trash. Haha, <laughs> your mommy is dead. The bunny made by her is dead too. You're bad people. Get out of here. I don't want to see you guys. It's just a stupid bunny. I'll ask the babysitter to buy you another one. <laughs> Ethan <laughs> Ethan Ethan, don't be naughty If we don't like extra classes, let's not take them But we have to finish the teacher's homework Mommy doesn't want to go to school and get yelled again <laughs> Why did Angel Auntie mistake me for her child again? I want to be the son of Angel Auntie too Mommy, I'm good. I'm going to do my homework now.
These homework assignments are too easy. What's going on with Angel Auntie's son? This feels so good. Prina, what are you doing in this pool? He works for Demo King. Maybe he can lead me to Demo King. If I can defeat Demo King, Mom might let me skip homework for a week as a reward. Get me inside. This can't be a weapon. This one neither. Hmm. It's thundering. I want to sleep with Daddy. For the sake of my life, I will check if there is any baby killer here. Prina, what are you doing? I want to hear a story. What story? I want to hear the story of Sadako crawling out of the TV. If you fan from fear, I will get mommy to handle you. <laughs> Who told you such a meaningless story? Come here. Daddy reads you the Tao Te Ching. I'm done. Demo King is going to read me a spell. The Tao that can be told is not the internal Tao. What can I do? I want the to sleep. The nameless is the beginning of heaven and earth. Wait. Anna has been waiting in the courtyard for some time. What's she doing here? Professor Justin heard that Prina's co syndrome had broken out, asking her to come here to read the polls. Show her to the living room. Yes, sir. As long as I can hoop with Wine Queen, I don't have to be afraid of Yvonne Shen anymore. Mr. Queen, where's the young master? Bring Prina out. The kid looks a bit like Yvonne Shen when she was a kid. Can you check his pulse? Oh. Karina, can you give me your hand so I can check your pulse? No! Karina! <sighs> Good boy! What's going on? The kiss is not sick at all. You are hurting me! If I tell him the kid is not sick, I will lose my chance to get close to one queen. I can't. Miss Xin, how's the young master's illness? Not that it's winter, his body is still very weak. He should take medical baths and a massage to clear his meridians. This lady is a bad person. She lied to Demo King. I'm not weak. I can fight ten by myself. Prina, you were born weak suffering from cold. But it's okay. I will stay by your side and cure the cold syndrome we were born with. Is that okay? You are lying. I'm not sick. You are a big liar. Prina, who taught you to be so rude? What did you say about his paws? The cold inside his body is trapped. The chi is stagnant. His pulse is slow and weak. It's eternal Shut deficiency. Up. Oh, one queen. Are you really a disciple of Justin Han? A hundred percent. He ruined his good reputation by taking you as his disciple. Guys, throw this liar out of here. One queen, I studied with Justin and have been practicing for ten years. My pulse take can be wrong. Do you want me to fetch him over here? Let me go! Throw her out! Prina's pals doesn't do it. Where did he learn that foul language? What's wrong, Daddy? Nothing. Go get your lunch. After lunch, do I have to take my medicine again? You're just getting better, and you need to take your medication every day. My God! It's made with Demo King's blood! I don't want that! Daddy, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Get back soon. I have to get Demo King's son back. Final chance to three Prima in the pound. This bad auntie, what's she up to now? Miss Anna, I wouldn't dare murder Prina. Are you stupid? Throw him in and then rescue him. At that time... You will be Prima's savior. Then I will show up and treat him. Maybe I will be the private doctor of the queens. Win-win. That's so wicked. I have to find Demo King's kid and tell him. What are you doing here? Who, who are you? Who's there? Shh. Somebody's there. Oh, 
That's weird. I just clearly heard someone talking. Probably a magpie or a squirrel. Hurry up and get things done. Otherwise, I will have Grandpa fire you.、Uh, got it. Uh. Why do you look exactly like me? You are the son of Angel Auntie. You are the son of Demo King. We look exactly the same. I think we could be twins. What's that? That means my daddy is your daddy, and your mommy is my mommy. No way! My daddy is Homa, lashed in the backyard. What is Horman? My mommy said that my daddy had died a long time ago, and that she'd scattered the ashes. My daddy was reincarnated as a big yellow dog. So your daddy is a big yellow dog? Huh? Yes. Right. Is it time for you to take medicine? Demo King was using his blood to prepare your medicine. Oh no! Get our clothes back on. My name is Izzy Shin. What's your name? My name is Prina. Prina? That's funny. But watch out for the grape-flavored box in Demo King's bag. That's a secret weapon that kills children. It's Prina. So he was eavesdropping. You hide yourself. I will destroy the bad guys. Hurry up and catch him. Let's do it right now. Let me go. Help! Prima fell into the water. Why did the bodyguard run away after throwing him in? I can't swim. What can I do? Ethan. Ah,、uh, Mr. Quee, we've searched everywhere. Couldn't find him. Search again. He couldn't get out of Bella. Must be hiding somewhere. Right. Wait, it's a mess out there. The young master fell into the water. What? <sighs> Is that Prina? What's going on? It wasn't Prina who was pushed into water. Daddy, that bad auntie and that bad uncle were going to kill us. Mommy, put me down. I have to fight bad auntie. Don't move. I can't let Wen Kui see Ethan's face. Come in with me. What are you doing here? I take Prina's post to check his health. Any problems? Wing Queen sent you. Yvonne, you wouldn't deny a child the medical treatment, would you? Ethan, tell me, how did you fall into the water? Someone pushed me. Daddy, it was bad auntie. She had bad uncle push me into the water. She saw me and Ethan eavesdropping. Then bad uncle came over and pushed Ethan into the pool. Why has Why Ethan's has voice, changed? voice changed? Have a have cold. A cold? <laughs> I have no connection to this. It has nothing to do with me. Are you saying my son is lying, Mr. Quinn? I didn't mean that. There must be some misunderstanding. Mr. Quinn, I brought a person here. We were looking for Prina just now. <laughs> This person was acting suspiciously. What are you doing? Let me go! I didn't do anything. Daddy, it's him! It's him! Push the Ethan into the water. Ivan, your minion pushed your child. You really should punish him. I just happened to be there. You can't target me because of our old grudges. Mr. Quinn, we found this on this person. He might be a thief, so we tied him up and brought him here. <laughs> Miss Anna, save me! Didn't you say if I pushed Prina into the water, you handle everything else? That's nonsense. Anna Sheen is in enough trouble as it is. 
How can she save you? Yvonne, I can explain. Miss Chow, take him to the bath and change him into fresh clothes. Ah! Yvonne Shin, how dare you hit me? Enashin, ah! ah! five years ago when I exposed you for poisoning me, you said the same thing. You hurt my son? I'll send you to hell. Yuan Shen, how dare you hit me again? Again? Ah! Miss Shin, the police have arrived. Send Anna Shin to the police station. Make sure she never sets foot in this villa again. Yuan Shen! How dare you do this to me? Grandpa won't let you get away with this. If Elder Shin asks, tell him that I had her set in. Mr. Quinn, my master Justin Helm sent me here to be your son's family doctor. I also have a prescription to cure him. Take your prescription. Get lost. Wen, be good. Take your medicine and get well. I've had enough of it. When? Oh. Nia, does it hurt? Nope. Little Fu also has a similar scar on her left ankle. Why did I confuse this woman with Little Fu again? Mr. Queen. Your son is responsible for all of this. How would you make it up to my son? What do you want? Let me see. In the city seas, there's a limited edition Lego signing event. In the south, a Spider-Man autograph session. In the west, my son's favorite leeks and pork buns. In the north, there is the milk he drinks every day. I hope you will personally bring back all these things. What if I can't do it? Mr. Queen. Don't tell me you can fulfill such small requests from your savior. By the way, I have an appointment at 6 p.m. Please, pick me up on time. Got it. Hmm, that's good. So, do you like these gifts? Not bad. How's your son doing these days? None of your concern. I'm asking for Prina. Oh. He's doing fine. I called the kindergarten to request sick leave for him. He hid under the covers and left for a long time. Oh. In Yorkstone, there shouldn't be many people. Who knows you, right? Other than the Xing family. No one here knows me. Oh, that's perfect. Today, you can go in with me as my bodyguard. <sighs> bodyguard? Mm-hmm. Bodyguard? Come over. Come over. <laughs> hmm. With sunglasses on, you're professional. You look pretty cool. <laughs> Hey, let me fix your hair. Nice. Now you look more like a bodyguard. <gasps> Let's go. Just follow me closely. Do whatever I ask. <laughs> we'll never allow a woman with a legitimate child to become part of our family. Don't worry. I have no intention. Also, Ethan is my son, not an illegitimate child. Hmm. Then tell me, who is his father? He has no father, in my opinion. You're a slut. You slept with so many men. So you don't know who his father is. Mrs. Bob, I respect you as an elder. I'll choose to ignore your earlier remarks. I'm here today to break off the engagement. I have no interest in your family. You undereducated thing!
What are you looking at? Stop spacing out. Go inside. Nothing. Go inside. Evan Shen, Anna just returned to the country, and you couldn't wait to throw her in jail. Thank goodness, Yancy didn't marry your witch. It looks like you're defending Anna Shen. She messed with Mr. Queen. She brought this on herself. Anna is your cousin. Can't you put in a good word for her? Do you even know who Mr. Queen is? I'm not worthy of doing that. Since you think it's so simple, why don't you go yourself? You Anna has just been impressed. You still have the nerve to attend the birthday banquet. That's you orchestrated the whole thing. Got Anna in trouble with Mr. Queen. Yvonne came to my birthday banquet. I'm so happy. Mrs. Bottom, I wish you a happy and long life. I know you're a fan of jadeite, so I had Master Zhou Shen craft an exceptional icy species of jadeite just for you. Exquisite. Oh, Miss Shen, that was quite a sleep. Get broken? Yes, Grandma. The Bottom family never accepts broken things. Nancy, return the gift to Yvonne. The Bottom family has a rule. We don't accept the broken gifts, and we also don't want an indiscreet woman. It'd be better to give it to Zen Queen. Since he can accept Yvonne Shen, she should be able to accept his jewelry too. Miss Belton wouldn't dare act this way towards Miss Shen without Mrs. Belton's consent. If Yvonne takes this jewelry, that means she accepts their humiliation of having an unmarried child. Nancy, if Grandma doesn't like this set of jewelry, then give it to me. Brother! Yvonne, though it's broken, I still like it. It no longer has any collection value. Grandma, it's what I truly like. Fine, fine. I'm old. I can't control you. You regret not listening to me. <laughs> Yvonne, it's been a long time. Yanzi, thank you for helping me out. You become distant from me. We've been apart for five years. We're not as close as we used to be. This is a new bodyguard? Just a temp. Such a handsome man. Works for Yvan Shen. It's a shame. Hi, handsome. Let me buy you a drink. Miss Bout, he's Miss Shen's driver. He can't drink. If you drink my wine, I will get you a room tonight. Ah! You sneaky bodyguard, how dare you throw water on me? Did Yvan Shen give you the guts to do that? What happened? A mere bodyguard dared to cause a scene at my place. I'll have to see how Yvonne Shin teaches her people. <laughs> Yvonne Shin, don't you dare laugh at me? You planned this all alone. My bodyguard wouldn't throw wine on you for no reason. <sighs> when Queen... He's worried about me. Are you okay? I'm actually worried about her. You're hurt. Doesn't matter. Help me, help me! Somebody help my Nancy! Hey. Yvonne, are you okay? I'm fine. Yancy, please send him back. Okay. No need. Yancy, you stay with your grandma. I'll go check on him. How about you take off your pants? I'll get the glass shards out of you. Here I go. Hey! Yvonne Shen, where are you had going? Mr. Queen, it seems like you're being a bit oversensitive. 
Shall I have your card? Thank you for your help earlier. If you're really grateful to me, give me Baxter's contract info. So you protected me just to ask me about Baxter Chain's information? Or what? Prina's illness can't wait any longer. Wen Queen, I see now you're always planning ahead. I promised Baxter Chain that I wouldn't tell anyone where he was. What are you going to do to repay me for saving your life? Mr. Queen, you always weigh the pros and cons. You'll never find someone who cares about you. The only person who genuinely cares about me is Little Fu. I'll keep this favor in mind. I'll repay you something. Miss Shen, it's just superficial injuries and has been treated. Please follow me to pay the bill. Okay, thank you. I'll go to the first floor. Please take care of him. You were simply doing your job today, but I'm truly grateful for you saving Yvonne. Tell me, tell me what you need. I'll do my best. No need. Here's 50,000 as a bonus for you. I said no need. Okay, then. Let me know if you need anything. Yvonne, the result that Bowden Group developed in Mountain Glen Lake last year is almost finished. I'll pick you up on the weekend. We can take Ethan with us to go camping and see the mm -hmm. stars. I'll go home and ask Ethan. Okay. Oh, Yvonne. Mm -hmm. I heard Mr. Zane wants to marry into your family. Yeah. It's not even set in stone yet. Really? Oh, boy. I'm currently trying to reason with Mr. Queen. Hope he can be smart. Quickly pack up his things and leave Yorkstone with his nephew. That's great. Then I can officially pursue you. Yancy. It's getting late. You should send us back. I'm only Miss Shen's personal driver. It's not my duty to drive others. Yvonne, your bodyguard is quite a character. I'll go down now. Give me a call when you get home. Mrs. Bowton clearly looks down on you. You and Yancy Bowton won't have a good ending. You don't know anything. About to get married. If it wasn't for... Huh. If it wasn't for you. Anyway, hurry up and break off this engagement. Don't get in my way of finding a good man. Miss Jane, something's up. What's he doing? Hey, Yvonne! I can marry into Xin family. From now on, I do whatever you ask. Follow your orders without question. Zhang Kui, what's wrong with you? My family has cut off the engagement. It was an arranged marriage. Now I pursue out of love. It's different. Yvonne, be my girlfriend. Get him out of here. Yes, Miss Chen. Hey, Yvonne, Yvonne, don't go. Wen Kui, take your nephew away. Zing is deeply in love with you. I can't break you up. Get me after work. I have business. Let Zane send you back. Wen Queen! Fine, fine. I'm going camping with Yancy and Ethan later. You can take a break these days. Don't have to show up before me. Hello? Uncle Wayne! Yvonne Shin was picked up by Mr. Bowden! Useless. You are all talk. She had bodyguards beat me up, haven't retaliated yet. And you want me to shamelessly pursue her? <laughs> Yvonne, you agreed to go campaign with me. I'm so happy. Let's go get Ethan first. Hmm. Hello? What's wrong? Miss Chen, please hurry back. Ethan has a fever. Did he see a doctor? Yes, the doctor said he needs to rest now. He shouldn't go camping. It could make his illness worse. Okay, I got it. No worries, I'll go back right away. Yancy, Ethan is sick. How about we reschedule the camping trip? Yvonne, why don't we go for a recce first? We can bring Ethan next time. Yancy, Ethan fell into the water last time and caught a cold. He's usually strong and won't even admit it when he's sick. How can I go out and have fun now? It's okay, Yvonne. I'll listen to you. Five years ago, I already hurt Yancy once. I'll try my best to make it up to him. How about this? Let's go back and see Ethan's condition and then decide. Is my mommy coming back? 
Get me ready. I'm going camping with my mommy. Ethan, you still have a fever. The doctor said you can't go camping. Was the camping trip canceled tonight? Be good. Tonight, let your mommy and Mr. Bottom have some quality time alone. Okay? Mommy is mine. No one can steal her from me. Not even Holman. Huh? Prana, Prana, I need your help. Ethan, what's up? My mommy is going on a date with another man behind Holman's back. Can you help me watch her? Absolutely not. And your auntie might be my mommy. I can't let her go on a date with another man alone. Ethan, you come to my place. I will go to yours. Miss Shen, how's Ethan? He's just took medicine and rests now. Mommy, I'm feeling better. I can go camping now. You can't. You were just blowing your nose. I'm not. Look at this. But just half an hour ago, he... I already took my medicine, so I'm all better now. Let me check. Hmm, your fever is gone. Your throat seems to be better too. Mommy, I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Please don't leave me alone. Well, since Ethan has recovered, let's all go together. Yay! 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 Hey, <sighs> my dear, how did you get a cold? Go to bed and rest up. Where is Demo King? Who? Where did my daddy go? Oh, Mr. Quinn Zane went to Mount Glen Lakes Resort for inspection. They won't be back tonight. <sighs> Uncle Wayne, I'm freezing. I want to go home. Hey, Uncle Wayne, what is that? Rain making bomb. Uncle Wayne, it's so cold and you're still doing this. Yvonne Xing, I wonder how your date will go tonight. Mommy, will we sleep in a tent tonight? Yeah, our tent is see-through. Through the top of the tent, we can look at the stars. Yay, Mommy! I want to go to the lake. Okay, go. I'll take you there. Come. Huh? Uncle Wayne, the kid with Evil Shane looks like Prina. Ethan, whatever happens, stay in the car, okay? That was close. I almost called by my daddy. Didn't I give you two days off? What are you doing here? Oh. I brought Zane over to help you to bound. Yvonne! Yvonne, what's the relationship between your bodyguard and Mr. Zane? There's nothing between us. I was just touched by his sincerity. Oh my, you are quite a... Uh... Yanzi, do me a favor. Keep an eye on Zane Queen. Don't let him near my son. Okay. What are you standing there for? Come over! Drive down the hill. I need to buy something. <laughs> Wanna have a long time with Yancy Barton and get rid of me? Hey, you're just my bodyguard. This is none of your business. Okay, I'll play with you tonight. Hey, hey, hey! Uncle Wayne, don't leave me behind! I'm freezing! Uncle Wayne! Stop. The visibility is very low. I can't pull over right now. Stop the car right now. Go and see what's stuck to the rear tire. I'm telling you to go. Just go, it's raining so hard now. If the tires go wrong, it will be more dangerous.
trying to get rid of me? Wen Kui, you jerk, your car is out of gas! I intended to get rid of him, but ended up getting stuck here myself. Out of gas. Is this on purpose? Did you know this car was out of gas? Some spare gas in the trunk, enough to go a few kilometers. Want to back to campsite or go down the mountain? Campsite! When we get back, this car will be completely out of gas. Then, Yanzi and I will go back to the villa. You and your nephew will only shiver in the rain. What are you waiting for? Go fill the tank! How about turning on the heater? You don't want the car to make it to the campsite, so you can spend the night here with me. Alright, alright. I was wrong. I should have been quiet. Freeze to death. Are we there? We're in the wrong way. What do we do now? How much further? Don't know. Out of gas now. We can't drive back. How could it cause such a downpour? I'll call someone to pick us up. It's going to get cold at night. We can't stay in car. There's a motel. Go there. Twenty-seven dollar night, cash only. Ah, oh, Mr. Queen, you don't even have this much cash. <laughs> Do you have any cash? <laughs> what is this? Do you have by the hour rooms? Give us two. We won't be staying for too long. Only one room left. Take your leave it. This is all the cash that we have. Thank you. <sighs> ah. Um. <sighs> all right. See as you came all this way in the rain, I will give you a half price discount. <laughs> Is there a phone? No. What about Wi-Fi? I don't even have a TV signal here. How can I have Wi-Fi? Alright. Just go up. Take a shower. <clears throat> Could you use your charm to ask her for a new set of clothes? Including underwears? Thanks. Hey, Yancy Bolton, open the door. Let me in. No, Yvonne said you can't be near Ethan. I, I can sit next to you. No. Hey, 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 Yancy Bolton. Ethan, I can't get through to mommy's phone. She and her bodyguard went to buy things. Let's go down too. Maybe we'll meet them at the foot of the mountain. My daddy is not a bodyguard. Ethan, nonsense. How could the bodyguard be your daddy? My mommy's bodyguard is really my daddy. I knew that man had ulterior motives towards Evon. Ethan has already been brainwashed. I have to go find Evon right away. <sighs> Only a man's shirt and two pairs of underwear are left to you. Oh, give them to me. <sighs> I'm wet too. So what? You can go shirtless, but I can't. Give it to me. <sighs> Rest assured, even if you were undressed in front of me, I would not have slightest interest. Mr. Queen, remember that night you undressed me? Have you forgotten? Try it! Yvonne Shen, you're going too hey. far! Hey! Mr. Queen, don't forget our agreement. Just quit if you hate it. <sighs> I have to endure it for Prina. Mr. Queen, dry my underwear? Please don't do anything else with it. You think too much. Go inside. I'll take a shower. Hey, I used up all the hot water. Five years later, he's still the same. What are you looking at? 
Your scar is really ugly. Let me see if I can reach them. Yvonne Shen, you're filming secretly. I, I didn't mean to. What are you Hand doing? it over. Back off. You spied on me and act justified. Back Give off. it to me. I never thought you would be so cute in the Hello Kitty underwear. Oh my gosh. Hand it over. Stop it. Stop. I gotta take a few more pictures of you. When you get Alzheimer's, I can show them to you to help you recover your memory. Yvonne Shen, you're asking for it today. Don't run away. Hand it over. Let go of me. Like taking pictures, huh? Let me take a picture of you. Miss Shen's collarbones are so beautiful. Stop it. Give it to me. No way. No way, huh? Okay. Hey! Queen Queen, you're a scoundrel! No, I'm going I, to kill you! <laughs> you start. Password. Seven seven one two two three. What's the meaning behind your password? None of your business. It's over. Let's not bother each other anymore. Okay, that's all for now. Talk about it later. Grandma! Let me take a look. Oh, this is Wine's phone. I don't have the password. Well, what's the password? I want to see photos. 369527. Three. Oh, I can't remember when. When? I'm your wife. Grandma said. I came to your family on December 23rd. Can you change the password to 771223? When? No. This woman still denies having any feelings for me. She even calls my name in her dreams. When? Don't leave. Don't leave me alone. Wing Queen, don't you know to knock the door? <laughs> I thought you were still asleep. Pick it up. Well done. You even bought me breakfast. You deserve credit. You've already started eating. You didn't even ask me if I ate. This is sweetened. You don't like it. Why do you know so much about my dietary habits? Yvonne Shane, you'd better not have any inappropriate thoughts. Hello? When? You finally answered the phone. Zane said he couldn't get in touch with you. I was freaking out. I'm okay. Don't worry. Bo is also worried. He didn't sleep well last night. The Queen Brothers once fought over this stunning woman. Even her voice is so melodious. It's also a pity Wan's older brother died in a fire to save her back then. As a result, Madam Queen sent her abroad in anger. Otherwise, Wan Queen wouldn't have married me. Don't worry. Okay, okay. Got a hand up now. Let's go. I'll ride here. Okay, go. She looks like just my little fool. We should zone out just now. Mr. Queen, how many kids do you have? Two. Oh, was the woman who called you yesterday the mother of your children? 
Last night, Miss Chen snuggled up to me to sleep. Then I took another woman's call. Are you jealous? <laughs> Are you insane, Wang Xin? Get out of the car! What are you doing? Didn't you tell me to get out? I. <sighs> what kind of driving was that? Get out! <sighs> Yi Wangxin, I found out you like me, so you're getting mad. Yi Wangxin, I found out you like me, so you're getting mad. No way I like you. Don't flatter yourself. Who was calling to me last night? Even called out my name in sleep. I must have been calling you to drop dead. Ethan, did you bring the stuff? Yes, this here belongs to both mommy and me. Just take this here for a DNA test to see if we are really brothers. If we really are. We can't have mommy dating other guys. Prana, can you help me check if Hellman is my daddy reincarnated? Hellman and us are not the same species. The DNA testing centers cannot test that. Ah, <sighs> it's all right if we cannot do that. This way, Hellman can be happy without the responsibility of being a father. Isn't remember to. Pull out my daddy's here. My daddy might also be your daddy. My mommy says people as heartless as my daddy could never turn into handsome guys. Prana Queen, I'm telling you, I just called Uncle Wayne daddy. He didn't object. So from now on, he's my daddy. My daddy is not your daddy. You can't call him daddy. Uncle Wayne agreed. It doesn't matter if you disagree. Brenna, who's this? Bad guy. He and bad auntie want to take away my daddy. Daddy promised to teach me skiing. Brenna, you hate the cold. Daddy definitely won't take you skiing. From now on, daddy is mine alone. <laughs> Brenna, don't cry. Let me handle him. Kids born to bad auntie are just them. You even need lessons to ski at the ski resort. I will begin with a two and a half turn from flip. Then let daddy see how silly you look, and you will be an ugly crier. Prana Queen, you're lying. You don't know how to ski at all. I will show you my amazing skiing skills. Then I will kick you like a ball. You will roll down the mountain. I'm going to tell daddy you bullied me. Go ahead. I'm not scared. Why doesn't he find his own daddy? His daddy died too. Oh, so he just like me. Does your family have a dog? Sing Queen has a dumb mastiff named Harkin. We all call it dumb bear. Hey, what are you up to now? I heard your daddy died. Your mommy also scattered his ashes. Your daddy has been reincarnated as a little dog. Dumb bear is your real daddy. You got the wrong guy. You're really dumb. If he bullies you next time, just tell me. I will scout him for you. Wow, Ethan, you're so cool. No big deal. In Yorkstone, I have the final say, Prama. I've got your back, Ethan. Your coat isn't better yet. You can't run around. Come back with me at rest, Ethan. I'm leaving now. Ethan, mommy. What's Prina doing here? Oh no, Demokin is here too. They will know I swap identities with Prana. Wasn't this child calling me just now? He's Nab. Looks like Ethan's. 
Ethan? <laughs> you took quite the fall, even mistaken identifying my son as yours. Daddy, is Angel Auntie sick? You should take her home. I can get back by myself. Since when can Prina run so fast? I will have someone send you home. Wen Queen, aren't you just my servant? All right, I will drive you home. Can't you walk properly? Stepping on my feet without an end. What can I do? I just can't walk properly. What's wrong with my mommy? This kid's voice sounds so familiar. She bumped her head. Huh? Will my mommy become dumb? Oh no. He's seen Ethan's face. No. I'll take your mommy back to the room. I will go find a doctor. Ethan, no need. Let's have our esteemed Mr. Queen boil the egg, then message my head, and I'll be fine. Did you hear that? Demon King, go boil an egg. Yeah, let him do it. Ethan, be good. Go back to your room. Did you hear that? Demon King, go boil an egg. Like mother, like son, both have a snack for older people around. All right, wait for it. Yancy. Thanks for bringing Ethan back. Sorry to trouble you. It's no problem. Where were you last night? I was a bit worried. Mm. Ouch! Yvonne, what happened to you? I hit my head while coming down the mountain. Did you see a doctor? Not yet. I was just... Can you be gentler? Bear with it. I need to press it. Your bodyguard is with you. Where did you guys stay last night? While we were coming down the mountain, we got caught in the downpour. The car ran out of gas. We found a motel and booked two rooms. Yancy, thank you for looking after Ethan. How about I treat you to dinner sometime? Sure. I'll pick you up tomorrow. Okay. That was on purpose, huh? Mr. Queen, Yancy and I might be making our relationship official soon. Could you call off the engagement between our families? Are you trying to make me jealous? Mr. Queen, how can I prove that I'm not into you at all? By hugging or kissing another guy? Or sleeping with Yancy Bolton? What? After sleeping with me, you are expected to stay pure. Mr. Queen, I'll remain loyal to you forever. <sighs> you really do have feelings for me, Yvonne Xin. A word of advice. Don't come at a place you can never have. <laughs> Wen Queen, get out of here! Miss Shen, could you come to my office? Go. Miss Shen, I asked you here to address complaints from other parents about Ethan Shen. On which page is the complaint about Ethan? The entire book. And take a look at his grades. Ethan Shen fails his classes, and he also fights in class. But Ethan told me he didn't get into any fights in class this semester. That's because all his classmates now see him as the boss. Isn't that a good thing? So upon learning it, all the parents united in hoping that we could expel Ethan. Miss Lee. Our kindergarten is dedicated to elite education. Once a child is admitted here, they are considered as top students. We cannot let bad students have a negative impact on other students. 
Moreover, Ethan's father's identity is unknown, so his family background isn't clear either. I only agreed to let Ethan enroll because of the Shin family's status. This is discrimination. The kindergarten has never expelled a child, and the Department of Education doesn't allow it. So I may issue a document identifying him as cognitively disabled. Is this the standard of education here? My son is perfectly intelligent. You're twisting the facts. How about this? Next week, let's have Ethan take tests in Chinese, math, and English. If he passes all three, I will agree not to expel him. Sure, he will definitely pass. Miss Shen's all good. Just bumped her head and got a slight concussion. She needs to chill in bed. Later, I'll have nurse give you a shot of beta this time. A shot? If it's nothing serious, I'll just rest at home. Yvonne, just take the shot. I'll get you some candy. Miss Shen, just listen to your boyfriend. Relax a bit, Miss Shen. I'm a bodyguard. You're here. Give me some candies. I want white rabbit candies, the red bean flavor. Let your boyfriend get in. I'll go. He's clueless about what flavor he'd like. Exactly. He doesn't know. My bodyguard. Hi. So, how did this happen? Just a clumsy fall. <laughs> you. You should get your head checked when you're fine. Trip over your own feet like this? Hey. Doesn't hurt. Ease up, Miss Shin. I. Come on, you've had a baby. What's this little pain to you now? Do you have any idea how much it hurts to give birth alone? <laughs> when. It hurts. When? When? You bang your knee. Hurts. Go away. I'll blow on it for you. Which means work some magic. It stops hurting, right? Come, let me work some magic. No more pain after that. Close your eyes. It hurts less now, right? Yvonne. Yvonne, I couldn't find the red bean flavor, only the original. I like the original too. <laughs> You've grown up. Still crying over a shot? I'm fine. Miss, since I'm okay, can I go home to rest? My son's alone at home. I'm worried. As long as the attending doctor agrees. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I'm just Miss Shen's driver, not yours, Mr. Bod. Sorry, Yancy. By the way, Ethan has a test next week. Could you help me find a tutor? I want to give him a crash course. Leave it to me. Grandpa, you have to discipline Sister Yvonne. She sent me to the police. Didn't care about the Shen family or your reputation. Anna, it's my fault. The Queen family is too powerful. I had to pull a lot of strings to get a lawyer to bail you out. My precious granddaughter, look at you. You've lost a lot of weight because of that. Ivan Shin, wait for it. Revenge will be mine. I'm the Easting's second daughter of Shin family. Ivan Shin, that despicable woman, put me in jail. I suffered a lot. Anna, 
Even Shen's engagement to the Queen family hasn't been called off yet. Even if it is, she's been getting particularly close to my brother lately. No matter who she ends up marrying, afterwards, it will be even harder to deal with her. What should I do then? If you find a way to get close to the Queen family, you might still have a chance. But... Wayne Queen... Come on, why aim for the hardest target? If you can get Zane Queen, that loser, you will secure a place in the Queen family. <sighs> Nancy, you always know what to do. I can share my son's private tutor with you. No need. Yanxi has already found us a tutor. The tutors teaching my son are the best in the country. Yanxi Baden couldn't afford them, even if he spent all his... Well then, thanks, Mr. Queen. My son's grades are in your tutor's hands now. You call me Mr. Queen now? What were you calling me earlier? I can't call you that in front of Yanxi, can I? Yvon Shen, in public... I think we need to agree on what to call me. Sure. What would you prefer? Quack? Quiver? <sighs> just pick one. I believe you are just saying all this because you can't have me, so you get mad. Think what you want. Ethan! Mommy! What happened to you? Nothing serious, just took a tumble. I thought mommy got into a fight. If anyone bullies you, I will beat them up. Ethan, you can't fight these days. Your teacher said you did well with your homework recently. Why have you stopped focusing on it in the last few days? You've got a test next week. I found your private tutor. So you're starting online classes tonight? I don't want it! No... Ethan, I'm your home tutor. My last name is Word. Uh, Prana? It's you? Where is Ethan? He went out for a stroll. How can this be? I need to tell Miss Shin. Don't tell mommy. What? I mean, don't tell Ethan's mommy. Well, I'm living with Ethan now. Mm, just helping him with his studies. But that's it, okay? Bye bye. <sighs> Prana, when will the DAA results be out? It's DNA results. Expect in three to five days. I have to stay under Dad's radar until then. The agency will notify me when the results are in. If Andrew Auntie really is my mommy. Why did she leave me? Could it be because I was sick, so she left me with dad? Prina, you're talking nonsense. I wasn't sick when I was little. My mommy taught me how to fight to strengthen my body. That's why I grew up healthy. Let me tell you a secret. I got news that my auntie, who threw me into the water, has been released. Anna Shin, right? Will she harm us again? Hmm, Prana. Can you help me track her whereabouts? I can hack into the Shen family's surveillance system and then follow her movements. We will know wherever Anna Shen goes. Wow! Though I didn't quite get it. You're amazing, Prana. Look, Bad Auntie is here. Tomorrow, I will take Demo King to get revenge. You are bringing Dad to fight? Once DNA results are out, if he really is my dad, then let him start fulfilling his duties as a dad instead of Homa. Prana, Mom got me a tutor for extra lessons named uh, Zoe. She mistook me for you. So you weren't. Why do you need a tutoring? I have a test next week. Need to score at least 60. I'm only 5. Why all this pressure? How about I help with their studies? Cool! Demo King, let's take revenge. Revenge? Anna Shin is back. She pushed me into the water and threatened Prana. 
I always have vent rounds. Eh? One queen, why is here? My master once said, one queen has been using the Gorsia to treat his son for ages. His physics has drastically changed. Making these secret remedies exponentially potent on him, it's very effective. Though I've rubbed the soldier with in queen, using this medicine on that waist is a bit of a squander. If climbing the ranks is to go, it's better to directly launch on to the head of the queen family. In the spa, why is it so hot? Wang Queen, what's wrong with you? Are you alright? How is this woman here? Be careful. Wang Queen, you seem not that good. Let me take your pose. I clearly didn't take Scorsia. Why is my body so hot? Wang Queen, it seems you've been poisoned. You're the one who poisoned me. <coughs> I didn't. I saw you in the corridor earlier. You clearly weren't wearing this outfit. Wayne Queen, this place owned by my family. I came here for a spa. It's normal to change into a bathrobe. Bed empty, get away. Little brat, don't touch it! You've ruined it! Uh -huh. <laughs> Wang Queen, let me explain! Stop inhaling, baby! Timo King, are you sick? Let my mom call you a doctor! No need. <laughs> you go ahead. Thanks for today, Timo King. <laughs> <laughs> Who allowed you to take my son out? <sighs> it feels so good. Mom, don't be mad. I asked the Demo King to take me out. Ethan Sheen, haven't I told you? Stay away from him. Why did you go out with him? What if he harmed you? Demo King protect me really well. Better than Hellman. <sighs> what do you think I do to your son? Wen Queen. It was you who decided to use my son against me. Don't blame me for being wary of you. Ethan, go back to your room now. We'll settle your skipping classes and sneaking out the next time I come back. Mom, please be gentle to him. Demokin seems to be sick. Stay away from me! <sighs> Are you jerk? <sighs> You're injured. It's all because of your cousin Anna Shin played dirty with me. Ah! Wing Queen, let me go, you're hurting yeah. me! Miss Shin, wasn't it you came close just now? <coughs> You'll pay the price for the mistake your cousin made. Uh, Wing Queen, you... <coughs> <coughs> Why is your blood so hot? Have you vented enough? Or do you want to stay me? I wish I could dismember you! Uh, get lost! Uh, I still have to give my son his medicine. Uh, uh, wait until I'm done. And I settle stores for Anna's bullying. Mm. Uh. When Queen! Hey! Hey! Quit faking! Wei Queen! <sighs> Do 
Good thing he's not dead. Otherwise, you've wicked the rest of my life. Oh, <gasps> Mistress, what's wrong? You can leave now. Oh, okay. <sighs> Why do I feel like I'm covering up a crime scene? Wen Queen. Thirty-eight point five Celsius. He's running fever. No, I can't let anyone know I've heard one queen. Zoe Queen will come after me and settle scores. <gasps> Brother, look at him. This man, he keeps bleeding, and he also got fever. Please check him out for me. Who is this man? A, a bodyguard. His figure is quite nice. Let me see his face. He's as handsome as a god descended to earth. No wonder you wanted me to treat him. I'm not sweet by Lux. I only gave him a cut, and he started bleeding. Uh, please check him out. If he dies here, I'll be in trouble. Go get the reagent that left you. Get some of his blood and drop it on the reagent. Let's start by analyzing the chemical elements in his blood. Oh, okay. Brother. He's been poisoned with an aphrodisiac, mostly metabolized by now. But the color of his blood suggests long-term usage of Scorsia. Scorsia? What's that? A drug that raises blood temperature, makes the heart beat faster. It was a drug used by the effluent for pleasure-seeking in the past. Later it was found to shorten life, so it was bended. Could this man be a toy of the rich? Yvonne, steer clear of this sort of vile man. Big bro and your third bro can set you up with some great guys. Forget about that. What about all this blood? There's a hemostatic ointment in the bag I gave to you. Oh, alright. Hold on a sec. What now? Did this man already have a wound on his chest? Yes. His chest wound never seems to heal. Such heartless rich families use such strong young men as medicinal primer. Medical primer? What's that? Scorsia mainly treats cold syndrome. If the patient is a child, they can't take the medicine directly. Instead, an adult takes Scorsia, and their heart's blood is drawn daily for the child's consumption. This significantly cuts the primer's lifespan. I see. Yvonne, I've never seen you treat any man like this before. That's because you never returned to Yorkstone. You never seen how I treat our dad. Sit, Shen. I join our sentinel sec. You must abide by our rules. From now on, you will be renamed as Baxter Chan. Baxter. Our sentinel sec has a tradition. We do not treat the worthy. Breaking this rule results in the expulsion. Never to return to Yorkstone. Master, if I can't save Yvonne, my sister... What's the point of learning medicine? Awake? Dad... Brother... How are you feeling? I heard recently that Wayne Queen has been searching for me. Don't worry. I won't let him find you. Hey, brother. Sorry, I accidentally hang up. It's Wayne's phone. Who's this? Miss Sean? I'm a friend of Wayne Queen. He can't come to the phone right now. Wayne doesn't have many female friends. Who are you really? And what happened to him? He's running a fever. I'm taking care of him. Miss, I'm Wayne's fiancé. Please keep your distance from my fiancé. Also, if Wayne has a favor, Zoe Queen will take care of him. Please give him the phone back. Miss Sean, if there's nothing else, I'm going to hang up. If Wayne Queen doesn't get treatment, he could die. Who was that person? 
Miss Zhao, what's up? Sir Yi Queen, are you with Wei Yun? The master left. I'm not with him right now. Do you know where he went? I don't know. Miss Zhao, anything else? No, that's all. Oh, Sir Yi Queen, don't tell Wei Yun I called to you. I don't want him to think I'm tracking his movements. Miss Zhao, rest assured. Little fool, where did you go? Let go of me, Wen Queen. Nia, don't go. Nia, Nia, you named me Nia Queen to honor Wen Xiang, right? <laughs> Yvonne Shin, what are you planning? You are attempting to harass me again. What did you give me? Fever medicine. It can't cool my body temperature. You're versed in medicine. A bit. Are you aware that consuming scorsia shortens your life? Yep. Your child has cold ailment, so you have been consuming scorsia strictly to treat your own child. Prina is the next heir of Queen family. To ensure he grows up healthy, I will spend no expense. Miss Shen, if you are concerned about me, please give me Baxter Chen's contact. I wish you were dead. Well, I just accidentally pick up a call. What did you talk about? I told Miss Shang not to get it wrong, and we were just friends. Friends? What else could I say? Should I have told your darling Nia you're my babysitter? She's not my darling. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Shen, your tactic of throwing yourself into my arms only works when I lose control. Wing Queen. The one who drugged me this time was Anna Shen, a member of Shen family. How shall we resolve our grievances? The Shin family will surely give you a satisfactory explanation. Good. I'll be waiting. Wait. This afternoon, when you investigated the spa, what happened? After he left, the spa was cleaned out. After leaving, Anna Shin went to the Emperor Grand Hotel and entered Mr. Zeng's room. Also, Miss Shao called you and said a woman picked up. It's not important. Let's head to Miss Zane's place. I want to see what Anna Shane is up to. Got it. Hey! <laughs> Who are you? Huh? I will give you money. Just don't come any closer. Miss Anna Shane, you have thirty seconds to get dressed, or else we'll resort to force. <laughs> Zoe Queen, do you realize what you're doing right now? Mister Zane, I'm following Mister Queen's orders. Uncle Wayne, Uncle Wayne is here. Mr. Queen, the person inside is now decent. Proceed. What are you doing? Let me go. <laughs> Uncle Wayne, <coughs> what on earth did you give Anna to drink? What did I make her drink? She knows very well. It was an aphrodisiac. Fortunately, I'm already seeing Queen's woman. Out of concern for his reputation, Mr. Queen won't make things too difficult for me. <sighs> Uncle, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. See, and I mutually love the one I've always loved. You see, you're free to be with any woman you like out there, but you must marry Yvonne. Anna Shin. What's that on your back? No wonder it kept hidden from me yesterday. Hold her down. <gasps> Put down the zipper. Why does she have scars like little fool? Where did those scars on your back come from? It was, it was Yvonne Shen. She poisoned me. Ethan, you were in the bathroom for so long. I sat on the toilet studying and lost track of time. 
Today you are heading in kindergarten for a test. No matter the outcome, mommy is always your support. You will fail the exam with the attitude. It's okay, mommy won't pressure me. How can you disappoint Andrew, auntie? What else can I do? <sighs> I will take the test for you. Mommy believes in me. I will score full marks for you. Get in the car. Where's Ethan? He's at kindergarten. There's a test. The Sheens are Yorkstone's leading family. Each of us are cut above the rest. Since when has a Sheen been expelled even from kindergarten? Grandpa, just say what you want to say. No need for riddles. Today's Ethan's test. If his scores are unsatisfactory, the Sheens will no longer acknowledge this child. Dad, what are you talking about? No matter what, Ethan is my grandson. You, be quiet! Anna is married. Her child is the rightful heir to the Shin Lexi. I advise you to hand over power soon, huh? Let Anna get familiar with the affairs of the Shin family soon. Why should I? <laughs> Why, you ask? I can't possibly let a child like that be the Shin heir. Grandpa, the test results aren't out yet. You don't have to say this now. At least... Anna won't be with some unknown man in a flame giving birth to a child who gets expelled from kindergarten for being slow. Yvonne is my daughter. Dad, she's also a granddaughter. Sir, there's a trouble. Miss Anna has been dumped outside. Huh? What? Wen Kui acts very efficiently indeed. Grandpa. So this is the mother of the Xi family's future here. Quick, pull them apart! Evil, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm just trying to help you wake the mother of Shin's future here up a bit to reality, right? Take Anna away quickly! Grandpa, you tell me, how could someone like her be accepted by any of the great families. How come Anna is suddenly becoming like this now? Are you playing tricks, huh? Grandpa, until the truth is uncovered, don't throw the blame onto me for everything. Did any of you see who threw Anna's Sheen out car? It was the Queen family's car. How is that possible? Anna and Wayne Queen bear no grudges against each other. Moreover, Anna and Mr. Zane. Wayne Queen had a little misunderstanding regarding Anna. As long as you stop meddling, the relationship between Queen family and Anna can only improve. You should worry about your precious son's grade instead. Grandpa, my own son doesn't need your concern. No. Ethan's grace must be available. Since you can't bear to do it, then I'll personally call the principal to have him expelled. Dad, why must you be so aggressive? Principal Lee, please make an expulsion certificate for Ethan Shane. After it's done, send it to the Shane's main house. Grandpa, why all of a sudden are you making Ethan go through expulsion procedures? We can't allow that child to embarrass our Shane family anymore. For a child genius like Ethan with an IQ of 200, he's a key figure our kindergarten focused on nurturing. IQ of 200? Other kids at five and a half can recognize thousands of characters. Yet, he can't even get pinging right. Ethan scored four marks in every subject this time. Mr. Shen, don't listen to others' nonsense. Four marks? That's impossible! Grandpa, did you hear that? My son is genius. I'm off to pick my son up. Oh, Grandpa, the one who needs to be uncomforting is Anna Sheen sobbing inside. Go on. Mommy, this is my test paper. Oh, you used to struggle with these questions. 
How come a full score today? It was Prana who taught me. That's great. Then you must learn more from him, okay? Let's get him a gift. I wonder what Prana would like. He wants a bunny. A bunny? Prana wants a bunny. Handmade by mommy. Okay, you will get one. Let's go. I wonder what bring the Shane here this time. I've come to see your young master. The young master is still in hot spring. That's fine. I'll wait for him. Our young master isn't well. He doesn't receive visitors. If a child is unwell, they should exercise more to boost their immunity. How I rise, my child. It's none of your concern. I came here to express my gratitude for your son to helping mine. With his studies, this is a token of thanks. Since you're not here, I'll be leaving now. Just check if there's anything wrong. If not, just toss it out. Yes, sir. This bunny is rather cute. When? Look, the bunny I made for a baby. What are you doing? You're hurting me! Where did you get this toy? What do you mean? I'm just giving your son a gift. Should I also provide the manufacturing details? Tell me, who made this toy? Mr. Queen, do you think this bunny toy is ugly? Or not made of quality material? If you're this suspicious about my gift, then I'll take it back. <laughs> Tell me, where's the woman who made this toy? Where is she? Sir! It's just a plain bunny toy. Why the fuss? And why are you so eager to find this woman? What's that? Hey, Yvonne Shin. Stop playing dumb with me. Or don't blame me for being unkind. Where did the medicine you gave Anna Shin come from? Who else have you used it on? What medicine? Made her body covered in red streaks like centipedes! Wen Queen, I have never harmed anyone intentionally. The reason I drug Anna Shin to cover her in red marks is because she deserved it! <sighs> the hemostatic medicine you gave me was Baxter Chen's proprietary ointment. These special ointments are easily accessible to you. When you got pregnant by a dubious man, you drugged your cousin Anna Shin again to ruin her chances of marrying to a wealthy family. I couldn't care less about your field with Anna Shen. I just want to know, where's the woman who made this toy and whose face was disfigured by your drugs? You're exactly the dubious man! You refuse to say anything, right? Yvonne Shen. I'm giving you three days to hand over the woman who created this doll. Otherwise, I'll discuss with Elder Shin to continue with the marriage between you and Mr. Zin. I'll ensure you never escape the control of the Queen family in this lifetime. I have all the time to deal with you! Wen Queen, have you lost your mind? When it comes to this woman, I am a madman! Leave now! No. This here is the result of our paternity test. Can't you read what it says? We are real brothers, and your auntie is our mommy. Yay! I'm the other brother. No, I'm the elder brother. Does the certificate say who the elder brother is? It doesn't say. But I'm sure I'm the elder brother. I'm the older brother. I'm taller than you. You are on tiptoes. On my tiptoes, I'm taller. Let's share this great news with mommy. Let's ask her who the older brother is. Ethan, could you not tell mommy first? Why? Being sick, I'd only be a burden to her. Mommy had her reasons for leaving me with daddy. I don't want to make things hard for her. Ethan, could you first ask mommy 
If she knows she has another child, what she thinks about her other child. If mommy wants to see me, I'll appear before her immediately. But if she doesn't want me, I will hide and secretly watch her without being noticed. Okay, Prana, I will ask mommy for you. If she wants to see you right away, I will definitely bring you to her. After sharing my bed so many years, you never recognize me. How's the rabbit doll? Get you so serious. He and Winnie Shawn even have a child. What am I as his ex-wife? Even if Wenyu Queen made no attempt to take me and my son down, the Queen family would not tolerate their descendants drifting outside. If discovered, Ethan will surely be taken away. Someone's playing tricks. In this world, not many know that I once had two children. Hello, the number you've dialed is not in service. Please check number and dial again. Search all over the capital, leaving no stone unturned. To find her and our child to bring them back! My dear fool. Where exactly are you? Go find me, this woman. Well, Mr. Queen, why are you looking for me now? I've sent you the photo. Even if you have to turn your stone upside down, you must find her for me. What is Mr. Queen up to now? No, Master. Let's go upstairs. Your daddy's in a bad mood today. What's wrong with daddy today? <sighs> Nothing really. Did anyone from Xin family send anything over? I heard from Ethan that his beautiful mommy had prepared a gift for me. Miss Yvonne was here earlier. After she left, your dad's mood soured. Prina, put it down. No, this bunny looks just like the one mommy gave me. Be good. If you like stuffed toys, I have Uncle Zoe get you all the stuffed bunnies in Yorkstone tomorrow. That's what you said when Bo broke my toy Didi. Daddy buying all the bunny toys in the capital won't replace the one mommy made for me. This bunny smells of smoke. I'll have someone clean it for you, alright? Then... Clean it tonight. I want to sleep with it. Yvonne Shen used such tactic to bewitch my son. It's outwardly contemptible. Why is Ethan's handwriting here different from the test paper? And his scores have dropped so much. Ethan. What's the next line after? Some say the world will end in fire. Some say in rain. Nature's first green is gold. Nothing green can stay. My cattle burns at both ends. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Ethan, tell me the truth. Mommy, which line of the poems did I mismatch? Every line was mixed up. Mom, I've never memorized those poems. Mom, I promise I will memorize them well. Ethan, the three lines I just asked, you got them right on your last test. Ethan, it's okay to have your little secrets and keep them from me. But you must never lie to me. Prana helped me with the test. Was it the young master of Qin family who helped you cheat? Yes. We can't let Ethan be around Prana anymore. In case Wen Queen recognizes him. Ethan, don't go to the hot spring anymore. 
I will have the spring water brought here. What should I do? Can't see Prina anymore. Where do you plan to attend to Boughton family's auction? Yes, she will drive here to pick me up. Well, starting tonight, you're no longer my driver. Perfect. You and Miss Barton can go to the auction. I'll discuss with Elder Shin about your wedding date with Mr. Zin. Wanna marry me to Zen Queen, huh? Dream on, my friend. Something's happened to a bro. What happened? Mr. Zane is arguing with Mr. Goody. Daring to deceive me, huh? Weren't you supposed to be on a trip? Instead, here you are, with another man. Julius de Milda recently fancied by Mr. Zane. He was planning to pursue her, but Mr. Goody brought her to the occasion. Moreover, Mr. Goody is interviewing with the woman Mr. Zane has shown interest in recently. Mr. Good, Mr. Zane, stop. Mr. Good. You love snatching away the woman I have my eyes on. Then are you interested in Yvonne Shin, who's engaged to me? I'll trade her for Julie. Yvonne Shin, consider it doing your fiancé a favor, okay? Spend some time with Mr. Zayn, don't do this. My sister, after all, has a child. Doing this doesn't look good. Saint Queen, are you really giving up? Yvonne Shin, who's had a child for Julie. What a bargain! <laughs> you dare to hit me! Get lost! Seeing those rashes on you makes me sick! I've heard that recently, Mr. Good has been causing trouble for Mr. Zen. I've had it with him for a long time. The Queen family, a prominent clan in the capital, has raised such trash. Miss Sheen, why don't you come to my private room to check? Sure! So what do you want? Mr. Queen commanded me to scour all of Yorkstone to find this woman, dark, fat, and ugly. Upon seeing, isn't this just you? Yvonne, does this woman look like how you looked when Dad found you five years ago? Brother... Yvonne, tell me honestly, what is your relationship with Wayne Queen? Brother, how do you plan to respond to Wayne Queen? How I respond to Wayne Queen depends on how much you open up to me. Given your temper, if I come claim, you probably kill him. It seems Wayne Queen's the one who's been bullying you five years ago around the time he lost his wife, but gained a son, who was brought back by dad. Are you saying that after my incident, he had a son shortly? I'm still unsure. The Queen family has two kids of similar age. I need to look into this further. Those two kids could both be Wayne Shouts. Ethan is Wayne Queen's son. No wonder Ethan looks so much like Wayne Queen. How did you carry in the Queen family's child end up giving birth alone in the snow? I hurt so badly! My eyes! Am I going blind? Sam, are you okay? I'm a doctor. Let me check your eyes. Let me check. Here, take the painkiller. It will stop the pain. Uncle Wayne. I heard you used Yvon Shen to trade with Kangood for the female model. That Kangood doesn't even consider a queen family worthy of his attention! Always snatch away the woman I fancy! Deal closed! Congratulations, Mr. Good winged the painting of Zhang Daqian! A masterpiece for beauty, how elegant! Indeed, Mr. Good raised the bid over 20 times simply because Yvonne Shen liked it. Oh, I heard Ethan scored full marks in every subject at kindergarten. This can be used as a placemat for him. Ethan shows no dedication to his studies. And you always leading him, fights and bows. Surely know it. Nonsense! Next time Ethan challenges you, Give him a good lesson for me. 
Send this painting to the old mansion, and say it was bought by Ken Good for Elder Sheen. Had I known you liked this painting so much, I should have taken it from Grandma and gifted it to you directly. This painting only holds me when it's bought by Ken Good. What else do you want? I can have someone send it straight to your villa. This rostow, collected by old lady for over a decade, has never been cut open. This rough stone was bought by Grandma from a Burmese jade dealer. Later, it was appraised to be of little value. Grandma feared losing face, so she just left it there. The next item for auction is Burmese raw jadeite. Start bid, 500,000. 600,000. One million. This man knew his treasured nephew was beaten and hired to seek justice for Zen Queen. Two million. Five million. Ten million. Yvonne, Grandma bought this stone for less than two million. What fools, let them be. He's not the fool here. Ten million. Twenty million. All right, twenty million for the first time. The second time. Twenty million plus two hundred and fifty. Queen Xin's marriage alliance in York stone bus during much talk. Indeed, Mr. Zing's scandals never end. Mr. Zane leads the bid on lot number two. Is Miss Yvonne doing this deliberately to annoy Mr. Zane? All right, congrats, Miss Shen, on winning the stone. Thank you, Miss Shen, for spending 20 million 250 to acquire Grandma's long treasure stone. Could Miss Shen possibly fulfill my wish to cut it open here? Nancy, stop it. Miss Button wants to see Miss Shen's embarrassment. Miss Shen spent 20 million on an ordinary stone. What a huge loss! In Christie's occasion house, there is an experienced polisher who can help Miss Chen cut a stone. Enough! All right then. I'll satisfy Miss Bolton's wish. All right then. I'll satisfy Miss Bolton's wish. Let's start here. Or maybe we shouldn't. What if we open it and find no jade inside? Miss Chen, wouldn't that be embarrassing? Keep going. Alright, since Miss Chen insists, this stone will be offered to you by us, the Bottom family, at half the price. Imperial Jade! This stone just review Imperial Jade! In that case, Miss Bottom. Your dream has come true. You don't need to charge me half price. 20 million 250 will all be sent to your bottom family. Congrats, sister, for Imperial Jade. Let's head to Mr. Zin's room and rest for a bit. Move aside. Sister. Don't make you say it twice. Yvonne. Yvonne, I heard you found Imperial Jade in the row Jade I collected. Yes, thank you for your generosity. Yvonne, you're young, and Jade doesn't suit you yet. I have several collector's diamond necklaces. Come to Bottoms, pick one and take it. From a bottom. How much does diamond really cost? Yvonne. I know you and Yancy are in love. Just return the roll stone to me, and I will give you a chance. No need. Yvonne! Yvonne, I'll take you home. No thanks. I'm her bodyguard. I can take her home. You're just her bodyguard. It's more fitting that I bring her home. Then let me inform you. I am the head of the Queen family, Wayne Queen. What did you say? As the head of the Queen family, I am announcing to you all. The wedding of the Zane Queen and Yvonne Shin will take place in the month. Here, the clothes for changing. Well, disappointed not to see Yancy Bot. Get out! How's the search going? 
New York still has a permanent population of over 5 million. Looking this way is like searching for a needle in a haystack. I can't wait that long. Why would you go to such great length for a woman irrelevant to you? She's my ex-wife. She's your ex-wife now. Why are you still looking for her? Before grandmother passed away, she asked me to take care of her. She's a bit naive. How is she live alone out there? Mr. Queen, if I may, how did the woman your grandma told you to take care of end up being your ex-wife? You're too curious. Fine. In five days, I'll have information for you. Three days. Who taught you James stone batting and stone cutting? From books. Now I'm curious, which book contains my trade secrets? Was it that little fool, right? What little fool? I don't know. The woman who taught my son to make rabbit dolls, and you the jade batting skills. Does she know I'm looking for her? You won't tell me where she is. Did she instruct you to? Wang Kui, don't be ridiculous. Yvonne Shen, tell that woman I'm here to take her home. Even though we are divorced, I promised Grandma I'd take care of her of her life. Wang Kui, your promise to Grandma was awfully cheap. Right after Grandma passed, you kicked me out in the freezing cold when I was giving birth alone. You never showed up. Mr. Queen, since she's already your ex-wife, why bother her? She's now married and has children, living a peaceful and happy life. <laughs> As the high and mighty lord of the capital, why bother her? Hello? When? Boss hurt. He fell down the stairs. I don't even know what to do. Is this serious? You jerk. Throw me in the water again. You trying to drown me? You've got someone with you? How did Bo get hurt? It's all my fault. Prana said he was great at skateboarding, but Bo insisted on buying one. Alright. I'll find out. And that's it. Wang Kui, hurry up and pull me up. Keep sulking. Mommy hurts. Go get some pink for Bo, quick. But didn't you just say not to give it to him? Mr. Quinn even hung up the phone. Who's Bo crying to now? After we went to Yorkstone, he became a magnet for women. I can't stay in the capital waiting to get ousted by other women. I cooked you a bowl of porridge. I'm going to leave. Hold on. Cool this porridge before you go. <sighs> Come here. Tell me how to do it. Should I bring an electric fan? Blow it yourself. No need to get impatient. As a nanny, that's part of your job. Consider yourself lucky I'm not making you feed me. Don't think I'll feed you myself. Mr. Queen, Prana, is he the child with your ex-wife? Why ask all of a sudden? I'm about to marry your nephew. I should know about your family dynamics, right? Once married to Zane, you're leaving Yorkstone. There's no need to bother about the queens in the capital. Eat by yourself. 
Parma suffers from coldness disorder. Could he truly be my child? If he's really my firstborn, I've got to take him back. It's been so long since I've seen Ethan. I wonder how he's doing. <gasps> Careful! <gasps> Prina! Young Master! Prina! Daddy, I'm fine. <sighs> <clears throat> Why are you here? It wasn't me. Daddy, it was an accident. I just slipped, and that's all. Take him back and get a doctor. <laughs> Tell me, how did you get in here? I'm the proprietor of this villa. I have keys to all villas here. Don't forget, this villa you are living in is only lent to you temporarily by me. You know, instead of slandering me, you better check who spelled lube on the stairs. Who the hell did it, alright? Mr. Queen, I didn't see any lubricant on the stairs. <gasps> Do you really think the servants would make such a basic mistake as to leave lubricant on the stairs? Then tell me, what reason would I have to intentionally push your son down the stairs? Don't think I'm aware that you've been snooping around my son. Mr. Queen, I was just curious about the genius kid who helped my son cheat, that's all, okay? Alright, Yvonne Shen, if you target my son again, I won't let you off. Yancy, I heard Yvonne is getting married soon. The Queen Xin wedding is bound to be grand. I'm too old for that kind of fuss. You go, represent our bottom family. That Zane Queen, he's nothing but a scum. Grandma, you should have seen it. At the auction, he shamelessly swapped Evil out for a female model as his date. <laughs> Swapping a woman who has had a child for a stunning model. Isn't that a good deal? Please, Grandma. No more. <laughs> the Queen family has already announced the marriage. Yancy, my dear, if it's not meant to be with Yvonne, stop dwelling on it. Okay? I'll attend Yvonne's wedding. On behalf of the Bowden family. Have you found her? Not yet. It's like finding a needle in the haystack. Where am I supposed to find your ex-wife? You also told me that my ex-wife got married and had a child. Do you still want to find your ex-wife? Sure. What's your plan once you find her? I'll bring her back. But she's already married. I'll make her divorce. How can you? You know, once you've flown first class, it's hard to get back to coach. That got me wondering about what level your ex has landed on now. Miss Shaw, with Bo being in such a state, and you still brought him all the way from the capital to Yorkstone. What a trek. You really went through a lot. Bo's injury hasn't healed. He cried only to find Wei Yan, so I brought him here. Unfortunately, Miss Shaw, Mr. Queen's Alden hasn't returned yet. Perhaps you could take Bo to a downtown hotel. It'd be more convenient and comfortable. Bo, do you want to wait here for Uncle Wei Yan or go back to the hotel? Wait for Uncle Wei Yan to return. All right, then I will stay here with you. Ethan, this is bad. Bad auntie brought her son to the villa. You mean boo? Mm. Prana, wait for me. Okay. <gasps> Ethan, what should we do? Bad auntie is coming. Prana, hide right here. Leave the rest to me. Ethan, what do we do now? I will go call Zoe Queen. 
When Zoe Queen gets here, he will ask how you dealt with him. If you can't answer, he will see through the twin swap. So, what should we do? Hello? Uncle, come quickly! Hey, I've got another matter. I must leave now. Make it quick. My patience with... Okay, understood. Ethan Shane, was it you who tied him up like this? Uncle, take him away quickly. Then, ask him why he targeted Prana. <laughs> pineapple? Just for eating your pineapple, you tied him up like this. Prana, this is Prana Queen. He was the target of this man, and also my younger brother. I'm your elder brother. I am the older brother. Why isn't he back yet? If he doesn't return soon, when will we discover him? Mommy, did you say that you take me to see Prana's legs get broken? Why haven't we gone yet? Shh, we can't talk about this here. Okay, I'll stop. Miss Winnie with Bo is already at the villa waiting for you, Mr. Queen. Why weren't they placed in the hotel? Miss Shaw said Bo missed you, so they came straight here after landing. Understood. I'm heading back now. It's a matter for us servants to handle. No need for you to bother. Daddy! Bao got hurt. He needs rest. Why did you bring him here? When? Bo missed you too much. I had no choice. Forget it. You will stay here today. Tomorrow Zoe will take you to the hotel. When? Let Bo and I stay here with you in Prana. No need. Go be with Bao. What do we do? But Auntie is staying here. Her son will definitely bully me. Prana, you will stay with Mommy tonight, and I will handle bad Auntie and her son. But... Stop with the bats. Protecting you is my duty. I'm your older brother. Prina, did you take your medicine today? Zoe Queen, give it to me. I heard the bow is here. I want to play with bow. No, I'm scared. Prana will hurt me. Don't wrongly accuse me. I told you, if you wanted to learn skateboarding, I will teach you. However, I hadn't taught you yet. You slide down by yourself. You brought it on yourself. Prina. When you skateboarded, was there, there an adult, adult watching, watching over, over you? you? Then it's your mom's negligence. Prana, if you hadn't told Bo that you could skateboard, Bo wouldn't have been so eager to learn. Bo is younger than you. He doesn't understand danger. Bo is younger than me. He doesn't know what danger is. Then why did you even buy him a skateboard? Ethan, what's wrong today? I cheated on a test this morning. Will you stop liking me? Ethan, cheating on test isn't right. But as long as you mend your ways, I'll always love you. Okay, mommy. I'm going to brush my teeth. Good night. Ethan, do you want to sleep with me tonight? Mm. How come Prina sleeps in such a carefree pose? Mr. Queen, we figured it out. That night Prina hit his head, there indeed was lubrication on the stairs. It was cleaned up afterward. It was this person who sneakily spread the lubrication, and then swiped it off amidst the chaos. Did you find out who was behind it? Yes, it's been clarified. This person's account suddenly received 500,000. It was said to be Miss Shaw's doing. Winnie Shaw? Yes. It is said Miss Shaw ordered that Prina's leg be broken. Can't even get through his phone call. Could it be to the morning run? Mommy, what are you talking about? It's nothing, Bo. You wait here for me. I'm going to find a daddy.
when when why are you looking at me like that don't you have something to confess to me confess what i found that person <sighs> why it wasn't intentional i was out of my mind that's why i had someone kidnap prana kidnap you had someone kidnap prana <laughs> let me explain it's such a pity for boo he got hurt because prana that's why i had someone give him a lesson use bow's name to harm my son why why please forgive me please for the child you bore for my brother i will spare you this time get lost now never show your face at the chain scan mommy why did daddy kick us out Mr. Wong, Mr. Queen and the butler have instructed not to let you into the villa. I left in a hurry yesterday. Our luggage were left behind. I will call the butler. Please wait. After all, Bo is the young master. He's still injured. It's so freezing today. Are you responsible for it if anything happens? Make it quick and don't make this hard for me. Where is Ethan? Ethan, come down for dinner. Where's Ethan? I haven't seen him all day today. Something feels off. Ethan never leaves his watch. Even if he's not here, he would answer calls. Check the civilian video. Miss Chen. This morning, Ethan entered Miss Queen's villa and hasn't come out since. Oh no! Could Mr. Queen have realized Ethan is his son? Has he detained Ethan? Wen Queen, give me back my son. Yvon Shen, what nonsense now! Why would your son be with me, Mr. Queen? Look carefully. Since he entered, he hasn't left. Please take a good look. This is Prina. Ethan, where are you? Please be all right. This is Prina. Please look closely. Daddy, mommy, save Ethan quickly. He's our son. Your Prana. Mommy, I'm your son. Prina, she's not your mom. She is. This is the paternity report proving Daddy and Mommy's relation to me and Ethan. <sighs> Yvonne Shen, you are my little fool, aren't you? Let go of me. You are indeed my son. Daddy, mommy, save Ethan quickly. He's been taken by bad auntie. What? <sighs> Zoe Queen, track down Winisha. Wen kicked Bo and me out, all because of you. If you disappear from this world, then Bo will be his only son. Dream on, bad auntie. There's not a soul for miles around here. You've always been frail. You won't survive long in the cold. Once you're dead, everyone will just think you got lost. <laughs> If you dare hurt me, my mom will make you wish you were never born. Your mom died five years ago. Do you still expect her to save you? You are talking rubbish. My mommy is with me every day. All well. Your vile mother lingers with him and continues to hold wine even beyond the grave. Mommy, you are here. 
Are you a human or ghost? The human clearly said that you died in a car accident five years ago. Dare to touch my son? It seems you're tired of living. Ivan! Ivan! Let go of me! Just calm down. The car accident five years ago is arranged by you! No, Win. You heard wrong. It wasn't me. I've been far too tolerant of you. Zoe Queen, take Miss Shaw to the police station. Let the police investigate whether it's true or not. Win, I was wrong. I shouldn't have taken Prana away. For both sake, please forgive me. Bao is your bro's only child. I'll raise him to adulthood. With you as his poisonous mother, he has no future! Zoe Queen, take her away! Win! I was wrong! I know my mistake! Win! I knew mommy would come to save me! Ethan, are you okay? Are you hurt? Anywhere hurt? I'm perfectly fine. Prana, what are you doing here? I knew you had been taken away by bad auntie. So I get daddy and mommy to come to save you. Daddy and mommy? Mommy knows you are her son? Daddy and mommy saw the DNA report that I hand over, and then they knew we are real brothers. Timokin. You are Ethan. <laughs> I'm your dad. Ethan, your dad's already gone. Please stop disrupting our lives. Mommy, don't you want me anymore? Angel, you're awake. Dad, the doctor said I was carrying twins. Where's my another child? Look how adorable this baby is. It's like a mini version of you. <laughs> Dad. Where's my another child? Oh, you must be hungry. <laughs> Tell me what you want to eat, and I'll have it prepared. <laughs> Dad... No, I need to find my child. Angel, Angel! <laughs> stay back! Listen. When I got there, that child was already frozen stiff. Not even breathing. I was afraid to upset you, so I didn't bring him back. I left him there. No! I have to seek out my child! My girl, listen to me, please. My angel, <gasps> listen to me, please. Okay? <gasps> Did you two little thing know all along that you're real brothers? Then why didn't you tell me? I want to know why mommy abandoned me back then and left me with daddy. I'm afraid mommy might see me as a sickly burden, unwilling to take care of me. I could never abandon you. It's all my fault, not knowing you're still alive. Mommy, after I recognized Isa as my brother, I sent you two texts. 
wanting to know if you'd accept me. So you're the one who texted. Mommy, between Prana and me, who's the older brother? Am I? Ethan, Prana was born first. You're the younger brother. He's the older one. Oh no! Yay! I'm the big brother. Mommy, Demo King, that has been nearly outside for an hour now. What if he freezes to death? I didn't ask him to kneel. Mommy, it's so cold outside. If Daddy falls ill, I will have no medical primer. Don't worry, baby. Your uncle will be Yorkstone soon. He will cure your coasting dorm. Mommy, but I, but Ethan and I just want to live happily with Daddy and Mommy. I agree. Your dad and bad auntie even have a son. Just let the jerk wait for her when he chance to be released. Mommy, actually, Boya's daddy's nephew. Ethan and I are daddy's son. Wen Kui, after sharing a bed for so many years. How could you not recognize me? Yvonne, when I got there five years ago, there was only a pool of blood and ruins left. I took the nearly dead Prina home, using countless resources to save him. They all said you were dead. But during these five years, I had never given up looking for you. I know. It's all my fault. I was wrong. After you left, I realized you are an irreplaceable part of my world. I... begging for your forgiveness. Please let me spend the rest of my life making up for my mistake. Okay. Let's go. Daddy, hurry up! <sighs> Little fool, I'll never let you go in this lifetime. <laughs>